What's going on everybody? So, it's Brandon Ambrosio here and I just got back from a eight week trip, something like that. Um, we went to Guangzhou, China for uh, like a 12 hour layover, so it doesn't really count, but we stopped there. We were in Bali for about six, six and a half weeks. Then we stopped in Australia for a day and then we went to Hawaii for three and a half days. And then we flew to LAX, to Dallas. And in Dallas, we got stuck there for about 24 hours. And then from Dallas, we flew to Norfolk, Virginia, where I live. And we are here, and I want to make this quick video because we were gone for a total of about eight weeks or so. And we brought um, basically two, ba two backpacks. We brought, well, it's one backpack, but the Osprey, Osprey Farpoint 55. And it's a cool backpack because um, on the inside, I'll show it to you, but this isn't going to be a, a uh, review of the backpack, but I just want to tell you what we brought. Straps together, and it's pretty awesome. You can use this as a carry-on in almost every airline, and then use this as your personal item, and it works out great. But I wanted to do this video because we were joking, Marissa and I were joking about things that we... We didn't really have anything that we wish we brought that we didn't, but we did, or at least I did have a few things that we that we brought or that I brought that I wish not that I wish but that on the next trip of similar length I won't bring so that's what I want to do in this video so I'm gonna start out with the big backpack the one that you can do a carry-on and most of the time you can do this one as a carry-on but sometimes with certain airlines you might be forced to check it but there's a tip here you're almost never going to pay if you do it this way. So bring it through security. They're never going to stop you going through security. And then get to the to the gate that you're at. And if it's too big, they're just going to check it for free. Um, I still always like to have it with me. But if they end up checking it, that's fine. It'll be for free if you do it that way. So I'm going to start with the outside here. It's got a couple clips. And um, bought a couple carabiners for this trip. And essentially brought the carabiner. And I brought this Hydro Flask metal water bottle. And, oh, like I said, the subject of this video basically is going to be a month and a half to two month trip. Things that I brought that I wish I didn't, not that I wish I didn't bring, but on the next trip that I take of similar length that I won't bring next time that I learned that I didn't use or that maybe got in the way that I didn't use enough that wasn't worth the space. So this right here, this Hydro Flask, I actually didn't use this very much when we were in Bali. Um, I would still bring it again for the next trip because it's really nice to have and it clips right on here on the outside of the backpack. It does bang around sometimes, it's kind of annoying. So depending upon what you're doing, if you're gonna to go to like one hotel for like six or eight weeks, I would not bring this because most of the hotels will supply waters and things like that. But if you're gonna be like at Airbnbs or maybe some places that aren't, maybe if you're going to hostels or if you're bouncing around from place to place, this is nice to have, especially because you save the plastic. You're not using a whole bunch of plastic and buying water bottles and throwing them out all the time. You can fill it up big, especially in airports, which is super nice once you get through security. Just make sure it's empty when you go through security. And you can fill it up at the airport and you have it on the plane, especially for long plane rides, it's really nice. And a pro tip while you're on a plane, if you're on a long or any length plane ride, but for example, the 15 hour plane ride from New York to China that we did, this was beautiful to have because when they were coming by to give the drinks and those little plastic cups that they usually give, a couple things that are annoying to me about those is they're just sitting there, you have to have your tray table down if you, even if you don't want it, or you have to hold it, because it's an open container. But if you have this, and they come around for the water, or whatever drinks you get, and you say, hey, do you think you can just fill this up with water? They'll take that plastic water bottle and they'll just fill it up. They, you won't even have to ask them to fill it up. They'll fill it up, which is nice to have. So I would bring this again for the next trip. Second is this guy strapped on the other side. This is the, I'm not gonna pronounce this right, but Cabo neck pillow and this isn't a product review really but i will throw a link down for it at the bottom but it's really nice because it opens up it fits perfectly around my neck it holds my head high and on some airlines not all of them and not most of the ones we flew it straps onto the seat itself like when the seats fold around your ears it straps on there so when it's behind your head it actually straps to the seat so if you fall asleep you won't like tip over your head which is pretty cool I love this, this is an awesome pillow, but next time I go on a trip of six to eight weeks or two months or more than two months, I would not bring this again because um, it's only usable really for the plane ride itself. 
So if I'm going on a trip for like a week or for a weekend or something like that, I would bring this. Or if I was going on a trip that was maybe two weeks, but I had like, you know, nine plane rides total, this would be worth it because I wore it on almost every plane ride. However, I was in Bali for six weeks and didn't use it once in there and it was just kind of in the way at that point. So I would not bring this for a super long trip unless you have a lot of plane rides throughout that trip. So if you have a trip where you're basically going to one location and you're just gonna take taxis around or something, or if you're gonna hop on a motorbike and go from location to location, I would not bring this because you're only gonna use this on the plane. So now we're gonna pop inside the bag here and uh, we're looking at everything here and this is just a lock um, that locks everything up. I would definitely bring this again because you never know if someone's really good at pickpocketing. I would totally bring this one once again I think this is like a Lewis and Clark or something, I'm not sure, but it just locks with the code. And um, yeah, so unstrap the straps here. And the cool thing about this backpack is there's absolutely nothing inside of it except for it opens up just like a suitcase and that's it. But once again, this isn't a product review, so we're not gonna be looking at the product. First thing is here, this rain jacket. Um, I forget what the rain jacket is by, but this is an awesome rain jacket. And if you're going to a tropical location, it was the dry season we were in Bali, um, May, and, or May and June time. So I only used this about two times, but it folds up so small. And I mean, if you don't have room for this, then you gotta pack better, I guess. But this right here, I would bring pretty much to almost every location that I'm going because you can never predict the weather. And if you do get caught in a big rainstorm, which we did a few times, some with and some without the rain jackets. This is super nice. I would bring this again. It's worth the space. This is a tough one right here, but this is like a first aid kit where it has your general stuff. And I, maybe I'm not safe, a safe person or something, but I would not bring this again. Um, unless I was going on like a camping trip. But if you're gonna be going to a location and you're gonna stay in the more populated areas and maybe go for a hike or two here and there, I would not bring this. Because this is only really gonna be good if you are in a location where you can't get to a doctor or even a convenience store where you can't get this normal stuff here. So I would not bring this on my next trip as it's all dumping out right now, it's getting mad at me. I would not bring this on my next trip unless, like I said, I was going to a camping where I was gonna spend most of my time away from civilization and I'm not gonna worry about that right now. <laughs> so I would not bring the first aid kit again. It took up a little bit more space than I would have liked and I didn't even open it one time. This is Marissa's, so I'm not gonna review this. She just shoved it in mine. Yeah, she packed her backpack pretty heavily. This is actually, this came with China Southern's uh, airlines, like a uh, like a comb and toothbrush and toothpaste and eye, and eye mask and stuff. So I don't regret taking this. I didn't pack this myself, so I'm not gonna talk about that at all. Now, we got this um, liquids bag and some, a couple things. One thing I bought, I was sick, so I bought these vitamin C tablets. I would definitely recommend vitamin C while you're traveling. It'll help you to not get sick. But if you do get sick, it's nice to have also because it helps with your immune system. So a couple things that I brought here. Let's see, I'm just taking a couple of pieces of trash out here that I don't need, and that is it. Yeah, okay, so what did I bring here? And I had a couple extra things packed in here that I didn't end up bringing back. I brought like a travel mouthwash and a travel toothpaste. And what I would recommend with the travel toothpaste and the travel mouthwashes, I would not bring either of those if you're going to a location and you're not going to fly around. If you're going to uh, like one location and staying in like a hotel or an Airbnb for like a month, just go there and buy the toothpaste and buy a bigger mouthwash because it'll last longer. But if you're going to a place that um, is that you're going to be bouncing around a lot, it's probably worth it. But also if you're going on an eight week trip, you're going to end up buying it again anyway. So just prepare for that. So... Yeah, so I actually wouldn't even pack it on the plane because you're gonna use it for like a week and have to get another one. So unless you're going like around a lot and you wanna bring it, if you can fit it, great. If not, don't worry about it. This right here is some stuff we got in Bali for um, injuries and stuff. It didn't really work that well. We just didn't pack it for the trip, so I'm not gonna talk about it that much. This is another thing from Mosquito Repellent that we didn't pack and I would not recommend packing Mosquito Repellent either to me, it didn't really make that big of a difference. 
If you're only hiking your stuff a lot, just get it there so you don't have to waste your space in your bag. Um, deodorant, I would totally recommend bringing a big one and not like a little travel size one because I brought this deodorant and it lasted, it didn't even last me the entire eight weeks. I just made it work almost. I was at the point where it was like, you know, scraping my armpits with the plastic. So that I would bring a bigger one if you're going to like a longer trip. Um, if you're going for like a week, bring that little travel one that works. Um, if you're going to a tropical location, we were in Bali, it's hot there and I would totally pack cologne because I use this all the time. Eight weeks in, I use a ton of it and it doesn't look like that, but I use it almost every day because I was always sweaty and I was always smelling, <laughs> to be honest, everywhere we went. So I would definitely bring um, this cologne or whatever cologne you choose. Again, I would probably pack a smaller one next time. I didn't have one. I didn't want to buy it just for this trip, so I didn't. Um, these, you know, these are, bring them. And yeah, this is cool. I would actually recommend something like this. Um, Marissa got this for me. It's pretty cool. It's a reusable toiletry bag. This way you don't have to throw away plastic bags all the time and it's a lot sturdier. And also, God forbid, if something happens and you're, something explodes in it, this is definitely going to like keep it dry in there and this will just get all wet and ruined on the inside and you won't actually have the risk of the Ziploc bag exploding and spilling all over your bag. So I'd really recommend something like this, a clear bag, just make sure it's the right size and then you could shove as much stuff as you want in there and it works out great. This was given to us there, so I won't talk about that. But I will talk about the one that we brought. This right here is a universal travel adapter. I would totally, totally recommend this because when we were in Southeast Asia, each and every plug was this one. I forget what it's called, the Euro plug or something. Yeah, I would totally recommend this because you're going to use it all the time. When you go into like bigger hotels and stuff, they're going to have probably the Americanized like normal like four prong or two prong plugs. But everywhere else you're going to want this like coffee shops or like Airbnbs and things like that. You're going to want this. So I would totally recommend bringing something like this. And, ha and it came with the case, which is kind of cool so it doesn't get like destroyed. So I would totally recommend bringing this. It was worth the space to bring this because you got to charge stuff. Flip-flops, bring them, but wear your sneakers on the plane because it saves space in your bag. Um, this is another bathroom bag that I brought, but this is not for liquids because you need the clear bag for liquids. So let's see what I got in here. I got, oh, before I forget, this right here, it's an HS Styles Hanalei Swan. Um, she is an amazing young woman. Um, and she has a clothing line. It's a sustainable clothing line. I'm wearing the shirt also actually and this is made of bamboo also So I'll put a link at the bottom and you can read about the website better because she's gonna be able to describe it better than I can But she, they live out in Bali their family lives out in Bali. They're an amazing family and Her clothing line is all built around sustainability It's built around helping the earth and every piece of clothing they sell she provides a school uniform for a child I believe in India um, which is amazing and all these clothes are made, are made with bamboo, which is much easier on the environment. The typical piece of clothing, the typical t-shirt takes 750 gallons of water to make. So this is way more sustainable and you can feel good about wearing it. And I mean, it looks amazing too. And this is a hat here that she gave me as well um, before we left. And she's just an amazing young woman. She gives speeches all over the world. She has an amazing um, mission behind her clothing brand. And I totally support it. I bought a whole bunch of her clothes and so did Marissa. And um, you can just feel good about wearing it. It's, a, it's an amazing brand she's building and it's great for people that work for her are treated amazingly and paid well and it's great for the earth and she's making a difference with the school uniforms as well. So go check it out. Check out the link in the description or the comments or however I can put it in there and um, go check out the clothes and give her a follow and stuff on Instagram and just support how you can because she's really making a difference in the world. So I just wanted to mention that with this hat and the shirt that I'm wearing. And there's some other clothes that I'll pull out and show as well. Um, this is Marissa's. As you can tell, there's a theme here. She keeps shoving stuff in there. Okay, so these are called earplanes, earplugs, and they're reusable. I bought them before I left, and there were like four or five pairs in there. They say they're disposable. To be honest, I would not bring this box. It's too much space. I'd just bring one pair, maybe two, if you're going to take a lot of flights. And for me, my ears pop a lot when I go up and down on the plane. So I would totally bring this because um, it's really interesting too because 
if you have over the ear headphones, it actually lets sound in, but so it's not like an earplug for sound because you can still hear things. It's to prevent your ears from like popping and clogging up and like being super painful. So I would definitely um, bring these because like I said, mine pop. I would, I would also have to chew gum if I didn't have these to like prevent my ears from popping super hard. So this was super nice. It reduced all the pain for me. And um, I could still hear, I could put over the ear headphones on and still watch a movie or whatever. But like I said, it says they're disposable. Don't trust it. You could reuse them. I use the same one for all nine flights we took. <laughs> Maybe I'm gross. Toothpaste, we brought that while we were there. I'd bring that. Um, it's weird. Marissa and I like different types of nail clippers, so we brought both types. Pack nail clippers for sure, especially if it's going to be a long trip because you're going to want to clip your nails. <laughs> Straight up. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. I'll go through everything in here. But we got that stuff. We got these foldable toothbrushes. Totally recommend. You can kind of keep them clean while you're traveling. And um, we're gonna throw these away because we use them for so many weeks and you don't wanna use a toothbrush for that long. Um, this is like hair gel, I guess you would call it. It's called shaping cream. I like it because my hair, as you can tell, gets long and especially in, I just like it. I put it a little bit in my hair. It doesn't add a lot of shine. And the important thing is this isn't liquid, so you don't have to put it in your liquid bag. So if you're gonna bring hair gel or something, bring it in like a paste or putty or gel form. This way you don't have to put it in your liquids bag. You don't take up space in there. Because that's valuable real estate. Tweezers. Bring them. I get a unibrow. If anyone's like me, you get the uni. You got to clip it up while you're traveling. I would recommend bringing these in there tiny. Um, Neosporin. Eh, don't bring it. We only use, I used it zero times while we were there. And it just takes up space. Actually, I got through on here. This is totally a liquid, and I had it not in the liquids bag, so I kind of got away with that. But I would totally not bring this unless you think you're dangerous and you're going to get hurt all the time. But if you just get hurt, just buy some while you're traveling. I wouldn't waste the space for this. Um, ooh, this is a... This is an electric razor. And I'm going to be straight up with this, all you men out there. This is not something I'll use for my face. I use this for other regions of my body and I'll bring it, especially in a long trip. <laughs> if you choose to groom yourself. If you don't, don't bring something like this. Um, last thing is razor. This is a Gillette razor that I use for my face and it has one extra cartridge. I think I brought three total cartridges because there's no way these things last a month. I don't buy it. Bring this because you're gonna wanna shave. And that's it for that bag. And I would recommend something like this for your bathroom stuff rather than just like I said, another piece of plastic bag because you can just zip it up and it works out great. And something in this square shape that's not, it's like sort of supports itself, but not really. It's really nice because I never actually filled this thing to the brim. So when you put it in there, you can kind of squish it down and get the extra space without risking anything. And like I said, having a Ziploc bag is, and I know I had a couple little Ziploc bags in there, but I'll probably reuse them, but you save, you know, you're not wait, you're not throwing plastic away and hurting the environment using a bunch of plastic bags. And like I said, if something does explode in here, you don't have to worry about it because it zips up and it will seal everything in here, unlike a plastic Ziploc bag. So, that, bring it. Now, to the clothes section. I brought three packing cubes worth of clothes and I got these packing cubes at Walmart for like 15 bucks for the whole set. And you have a tiny one here that I use for like underwear and socks. You have a smaller or a medium sized one which I use for shorts and pants. And then I use this one for shirts because you're gonna wear less pants than shirts. And uh, right here, this is the inside of this bag. You can check it out, it opens up. It uses this top zipper here. You can put like other stuff in there. And this is nice because it's a totally open bag. It's almost like a suitcase in here. It is like a suitcase in here. And um, I'll put a link in there for this bag also if you guys want to check it out. It's pretty sweet. And you have these clips in there to keep everything sane. So, not sane. You keep everything in place, not sane. This isn't an insane bag. <laughs> so, packing cubes, total necessity. Because I have a ton of clothes as you'll see in here in a second. And I, and I use this much space. And not to mention that when you fold everything up, it doesn't fly around your bag everywhere. You have it all here, it's right here, it's not going anywhere, and you, you can separate your stuff out, and you don't have to worry about pretty much anything. It's all in their own little space. So, all right, I'll start out with the underwear and socks one. This was a tiny, 
little packing cube and it was the perfect size for the underwear that I needed. So I brought one pair of tall socks for like workouts and stuff. If you're going to a hot, dry place, we were in Southeast Asia in Bali for, you know, six or seven weeks. And the sneakers that I brought, I'm actually going to whip those out as well. These sneakers are amazing. As you can see, they're Nikes and they have this mesh. So I actually wore these. They don't really smell. I wore these with no socks the whole time. I really wore mostly flip-flops. But um, I would totally recommend wearing a pair of sneakers like this if you're going there. Because you can, if you go into like a dry place or really anywhere... A pair of sneakers like this is nice because you can go hiking in them. You can wear no socks with them because they're breathable so they won't like store up a bunch of sweat. And if they get wet, they dry pretty quick. And they did get wet in Hawaii. And then, um, like I said, you wear them on the plane. They're super comfortable. And that's all I brought for shoes, by the way. I brought this pair of sneakers and that pair of flip-flops that I showed you before. And that's all I brought. I wore these on the planes and I wore the flip-flops pretty much all the time while I was in Bali because it's hot there and amazing. So, like I said, the reason why I brought up the sneakers was because I brought these socks for working out. And <clears throat> to be honest, I didn't work out that much, except for like in the places where we were staying, little like at-home workouts. If you're going to a hot, dry place or just a hot place, tall socks, I would not recommend them at all. Because I did barely warm. I wore them on the plane there <laughs> to save the space and that's it. So, I brought, besides that, I brought two pairs of socks. To be honest, I wore socks almost never while I was there, but if you're someone that really likes to wear socks, bring like two or three pairs of these low socks. That was kind of nice to, to have. But for me personally, I would probably bring one pair of socks if I'm going to a hot place again. But two socks, didn't take up that much room, two pairs of socks, that's fine. Underwear. I brought a pair of compression underwear because once again, for working out, I barely use them because, like I said, I barely worked out because most of the places we were staying didn't really have gyms. If I was going to a place, like if I was planning on staying in a bunch of hotels, um, maybe in like more of a first world environment, I would bring these and I would work out because I like to wear these when I work out. So these are worth bringing and you can also wear them as underwear if you want. So I would bring these, um, but I didn't use them for this trip particularly because I didn't go to the gyms much to work out. Um, I brought... Two pairs of regular boxer briefs, and nope, I'm not a boxers guy. And on top of the two pairs of boxer briefs, I brought these like breathable boxer briefs, and then these ex officio boxer briefs as well. They have boxers, they have like the underwear, underwear, and all that stuff. But these are pretty much travel underwear, and I think their tagline is one pair for a trip around the world. I, I got two, they're kind of expensive, they were like 16 bucks. Um, I would actually probably get one more pair next time. I'm wearing the other one right now, and I'm going to put a link to their website under here because they dry really quick. They don't store up, like, sweat and a bunch of smell. So you can actually wear them multiple times in a row for sure. Um, and these right here, I would probably next trip, what I would probably do is I'd probably get a third pair of these and then only bring three pairs of these. And I would not bring these two pairs of boxer briefs. I wouldn't bring these, and I would just have this, the one that I'm wearing, and then one more pair because they were that amazing. They were super comfortable. They breathed. I didn't sweat like, you know, if I was going on a hike, I didn't like, they weren't like, you know, swamp. You know what? <laughs> Nothing got swampy in there. So these are really nice to have. Like I said, I had two pairs. I will get a third for my next trip and just bring three. And that's it. And pack and cube. Next, we've got the pants pack and cube. And what I brought for this trip was one pair of travel jeans. I actually brought another pair of travel jeans that um, because of the mastermind we were at, I'm not going to show it because it's not worth the time. Um, we actually had to buy a suitcase while we were there to bring some of the stuff back. We wouldn't do that again. It was just this special circumstance that we got a bunch of stuff for this mastermind, mastermind we were at. And um, we actually put some stuff that we didn't, that we wouldn't want to bring next time in the trip. So I'm not going to show it. However, I brought two pairs of jeans and um these are banana republic um they're like a traveler jean they're pretty stretchy and they're really super comfortable if you're going to a hot place to me i would just bring one pair of jeans i only wore them a couple times anyway the whole trip and i did not wear the other ones the entire time so i would definitely not bring two pairs of jeans i would just bring one pair and if you don't think you're going to get hot i didn't wear them on the plane rides the whole way back so if you don't think you're going to get cold at all 
I wouldn't even bring one pair, but it's always nice to have one pair of jeans, especially if you're going to like a nice place or something like that where you don't feel like wearing shorts too. I would bring one pair of jeans. Yeah. These I got while they're out here. They're pretty cool pants. Um, they're like the like capri, capri style pants, but I'm not gonna talk about if I bring them again because I didn't pack them with me. But like I said, those pairs of jeans, I would just bring one. For shorts, I brought the pair that I have and these shorts are, I got from Target, they're like 25 bucks a piece. This, pa this pair and these two pairs, they're like board shorts slash shorts, and I'll stand up if you can see them. These ones are pretty cool because they're just one color, and to be honest, it's gonna sound gross, but I wore these all the, all the freaking time. I wore these all the time because they're a neutral color, they dry really quick, you can wear them in the ocean if you want, um, or to the beach or whatever, to a pool, and they dry super quick if you don't have like underwear on, underneath. And they look kind of nice. They have pockets. They have a button pocket in the back if you want to keep something more secure. And then I brought two pairs of board short board shorts. Next time, I would only pack one of the two. So whichever one I feel like packing, I would only pack one of the two plus the shorts that I have on. I also packed a pair of like gym shorts or if you like to, you know, wear clothes while you sleep. These are nice too. I would bring these again next time. And a pair of khaki shorts. I think are really great to have because, like I said, if you're going to go somewhere nice or somewhere that actually maybe have, has a dress code, these are nice to have. Like I said, this is a packing trip for somewhere warm. When we do somewhere cold, I'll do something like that as well. So yeah, next trip, I would just bring the workout shorts or the you know basketball style shorts. I would bring one pair of board shorts. I'd bring one pair of khakis and then these. And if you want to make it even a lighter packing, just bring these, the khakis, and the gym shorts, and that's it, because these could, you could use these as board shorts, bands, suit, whatever you want to call it. It would double up. All right, the last video cut off, because someone called me, but I don't know where I ended, so I'm gonna repeat myself for a second. I would bring one pair of jeans next time, if I'm going to a hot place, one pair of jeans, one pair of khaki shorts, one pair of like workout shorts or basketball shorts, and these type of shorts where they're like a neutral color, they got pockets, but you can wear them in the ocean as well because they dry quick. They're pretty much like board shorts, but they look like regular shorts. That's all I'll bring next time. Next, the shirts. What I packed versus what I came back with is a different story. What I packed was one, two, two? Hold on, let's see. <laughs> I think I packed two, or I think I packed a third as well. I did, it's somewhere in here. Can't find it. Well, wherever that is, nonetheless, I packed three tank tops, and I bought three while I was out there. If I was going to South, well, next time we go to Southeast Asia, it's hot and dry, I would probably pack four tank tops or maybe or maybe even five and less t-shirts so i brought three tank tops and i bought three while i was out there i'd probably bring three to four tank tops probably next time and i also packed while i was out there and i'll show you some other stuff but i also packed to bring with me um one two three four t-shirts no chance in hell I would bring four t-shirts again. I'd probably bring two tops because I wear mostly tank tops when traveling around. It's hot and it was like 85 degrees and like 80 at night while we were there in Bali the whole time. So I would totally bring like two t-shirts and that's it. I also brought like a nice button down short sleeve one. I would definitely bring this again. So next trip to recap, I'd bring the button down. I'd bring two t-shirts and like three or four tank tops is all I'll bring for shirts. Just to show you, I got these sweet flamingos on here. <laughs> and this, sh and some of the t-shirt, you know, maybe you can wear one that's more chill and one that has like a pocket or something so it looks nice so you can maybe feel casual and nice at the same time. And also what I brought back as well, I just wanted to show you some of, uh, some more of uh, Hanalei's clothes. Um, Hanalei Swan, HS Styles, her brand. I just want to show some of the other shirts. This is just another shirt just like this. Um, bamboo again open neck here super awesome shirt quick dry um, keeps like a little bit warmer but it's also pretty cooling as well and when I'm saying I bring two t-shirts next time I bring these two or two of these probably 
and maybe one more. But we got this one here. Um, that's different. Um, got this one as well. It's the black one. This one's awesome. It's kind of got like the, the shirt as well with like the long bottom, which is super cool. Another black t-shirt. And I was kind of boring when I bought some of the clothes, but she's got some awesome stuff too, like entrepreneur robes. And um, Marissa has some really cool clothes that she got as well. But I just got a bunch of t-shirts. That's because of what I like wearing, to be honest. And it has the big neck, which is amazing. It feels really cool to wear. And then the last one I brought, I bought. <laughs> this one was, the story behind this is kind of funny. Um, but I don't know if she's going to keep making these. This was the last one of this collection. I actually bought it off Brian, her dad, Unstoppable Surfer. I'll tag that below too. His back because he had the last one and I really wanted it, so they gave it to me. Um, but this is really cool. You got the Hanalei Swan. And then what you wear can change the world. And that's sort of the mission here. So it also says wear slow with a hashtag. So the wear slow is, like I said, on the website, you're going to get a lot better, more expert definition. But the wear slow here is talking about slow fashion versus fast fashion. And essentially, <clears throat> places like H&M, uh, &M, um, some of these other stores, you know, the big fashion stores, they, have, they do what's called fast fashion, which means they're just trying to pump out as much clothes as possible. You can look at it as if you can compare like factory farming versus like local farming. Local farming... You know they're gonna take care of the animals. They're gonna it's all, it's gonna be as humane as possible. And then factory farming, they're just trying to make as much money as possible. So that's kind of the difference between fast and slow fashion. And obviously here it says wear slow. So wear things. Do your research. Wear things that um, promote slow fashion. Or if you hear that term slow fashion, because what that means is they're gonna treat their workers better. They're gonna pay their work workers more, and they're gonna make their clothes as sustainably as possible to help the environment as well because you want to care about what you're wearing. You want to be happy and pleased with what you're wearing, where you're paying your money and what you're putting on your body. Um, a lot of these big, big, big fashion stores in the fashion industry, they don't treat their workers well. There's a lot of suicide rates. Um, they can't afford to feed their families. Um, they work in shitty conditions. And then once again, the clothing is made in the worst way for the environment possible, and they're just in it for the money. Um, so if you can do your research and anything that talks about slow fashion, that's what you want to go with. You want to wear slow. So shout out. I just wanted to do that on the way there. These I would pack again. I didn't pack them on the way out there because I bought them while we were there. <clears throat> but I want to talk about that because I thought it was really important. I'm losing my voice and this video is getting super long, but I appreciate you guys watching it if you are. And if you're watching it, hit the like button below. Turn on the notifications because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Most of them aren't going to be travel related, but as I travel, they will be travel related too. But a lot of them is just going to be mindset wise. I'm going to be doing a lot of um, coaching and things for um, alignment and how to live your life in your alignment. So a lot of people are just going for a business that's going to give them the freedom that they want. But there's a big portion of life. And there's something that I learned while I was out there. There's a big portion of life with your mission or with your passion or with your fulfillment with your work. So, you know, a lot of people are doing like a lot of low level things that make money online, which is great. But eventually you're going to hit a point where you want to also have a business that's based around your passion as well. So I'm going to be talking a lot about that and how to feel super aligned. And that's how you're going to feel truly happy. Not just by if you have a lot of money and you can travel the world because that's going to be great. But what you do for work, eventually you're going to reach a point where you're going to want to be aligned, where you're going to want to be doing things you actually care about. So that's going to be super, something super important. I'm going to be talking about that a lot as we move forward. So this is the Osprey backpack here, the carry-on or the personal item version here. And it has two pockets on the outside. There's deodorant and mints here. I didn't pack these. When I got them while I was out there, so I, w I won't talk about these. But I will talk about everything and the contents in here. And this backpack is cool because she's got one small pouch right here and then a laptop um, pouch and a zipper pouch for like a tablet or like a Kindle, and then just an open pouch. This is my retainer. If you anybody who wears retainers, definitely bring that next time. <laughs> or every trip ever. A pair of sunglasses. If you're going somewhere sunny, I'd recommend it, but I would recommend bringing a case. I got these while I was out there, but I'll bring a case next time so they don't get destroyed because that was giving me anxiety. Even though they're just fake Ray-Bans and I got them in Indonesia. <laughs> I already talked about these earplugs. I would just bring one of these, but I would definitely bring them again next time I travel. 
Chapstick, you gotta bring some chapstick. You're gonna have dry lips everywhere you go while you're traveling, so you're gonna want this. And then, um, those are just some change and things that I got walls out there, so that's pretty much it. A pen, I'd bring a pen, honestly. I think it's worth it, especially if you journal. So, <clears throat> one sweatshirt, this is a super light sweatshirt. This is all I brought for sweatshirt stuff. And I actually brought a jacket as well. I got talked into it last minute because I was told it was gonna be cold on the plane and I brought it and I would totally not bring that again. If you're going somewhere that's hot and gonna be hot the whole time, do not pack a jacket. Just pack a little sweatshirt because the jacket is gonna get in the way. It's gonna take up a bunch of space and you're not gonna use it except for maybe on the plane. And to be honest, you're not gonna use it on the plane either. You're just gonna use a sweatshirt. So just bring one sweatshirt if you're going somewhere that's hot. If you're going somewhere that's cold, bring a sweatshirt and a jacket and that's it. Obviously, aside from that rain jacket I talked about before. Um, Over-the-ear headphones. This I'm really torn, upon, torn about. If I'm going on a trip where I'm not going to take very many plane rides, I would not bring these again. But if I'm going on a trip where it's like a week, similar to like the uh, neck pillow, I'd bring them. And honestly, if you have space, I, what I would do next time is I would pack everything and I would see what kind of space I was looking at before I bring these. Because they're kind of bulky. They take up a lot of space in the bag. But if I had room, I would bring them because they're really nice in the plane. And also while I'm working, I like to wear headphones as well. But I'm not really picky. I could wear like the earbuds as well. But these, if you've never taken a trip before and you have over-the-ear headphones, bring them and then see how you like it with the space and then um, go from there. But these I'm totally torn about. I think, like I said, I would next time I'm going to have them ready and then pack my necessity stuff and then... Pack these at the end if I want. These are uh, skull candy ones. They're pretty cool. <clears throat> this right here. This is the stuff. This is a bag smart RFID protecting like passport wallet. This was a game changer. This is so crucial. I'm not going to show you guys a passport. I don't want to put that on camera, but it has like a couple pack a couple pockets back here where you can put like money or your plane tickets or whatever. It's got a spot for a pen here. It's got a couple pockets. You can put your passport in here. You can put all your credit cards in here. It's RFID protected. So no one can come by and like swipe your numbers and stuff through your wallet. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this passport holder, portfolio wallet type thing, totally recommended. It's really thin. So you can pack in your bag and you're not worrying about the space too much. And you can protect your passport. It's kind of saved in there. You're not gonna worry about getting it all beat up and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's it. And you, like I said, you can put your credit cards in there. You can put your money in there. And honestly, this could be your wallet. I brought a wallet as well because it's just smaller and I don't want to carry this. But this right here, and just to show you an example and a comparison versus a regular wallet versus for size. This is a regular size wallet, normal size. So that's your size you're looking at. It's pretty much the same thickness, maybe double the width or the height. Definitely, I'd bring this again 150 million percent. This is, a, this is top of the list for me, one of the top of the list things. I'd totally bring this again. And wallet, like I said, I would bring. I'll save this for the end. This is cool. Um, tablet. We were doing so much travel stuff and so much business stuff, and so, uh, in the beginning, and then we we're doing. Uh, we met a lot of amazing people, and spent a lot of time doing work, and also just like socializing with people and doing things. But um, I would bring this Kindle again. I didn't read it a whole bunch, but I would bring it again because I do like reading and it just kind of got away from me. But I would bring this Kindle again because like I said, it's really small. The charging lasts forever, so it's totally worth bringing. Plus you can read on the planes, you can read in the mornings and all that stuff. So bring it again. Bring Kindle when you travel. I would not bring a book for sure. It would take up way too much space looking back on it. Like I said, this is the inside of this bag. It's pretty cool. And this bag, this is one bag from Austria. It comes together, they zip together, but you're not gonna be able to zip them together if you travel. <laughs> they can just strap together. Laptop, gotta bring that for sure. It's the Move. Um, oh, I could just talk about a hat. Like I talked about how amazing this hat is and how much I love it. I would bring a hat next time. I didn't bring one out with me. I actually forgot, but I would bring a hat next time. Who knows, maybe it's this one. This right here is another bag smart item, and I have no idea what this is called. I'll try and find it and link it below. I'll link all this stuff below. If you guys want to buy any of this stuff, um, you can check it out. It's on Amazon. 
There'll probably be affiliate links. Um, it would help me out if you got it through there. If not, no worries. Um, cost the same for you each way. Just helps me out if you get it through the link. If not, just go to Amazon.com and search all this stuff yourself, and that's fine. <laughs> um, and so this is really cool. This is a bag smart. It's like an electronics organizer. It has a pocket on the outside. I didn't use it that much, but you can put something in the outside here. Like you can actually put the Kindle. It's actually kind of sweet outside here. You can actually do that. It'd be worth it. And it has like a handle on the back. I didn't use it because I just had it in my backpack the whole time. And then it's got two zippers. And I'll just show you both. <laughs> so this one right here. Yes, I got walls out here. So laser pointer. I was out in Bali, not out here, sorry. This is the inside of this first pouch here. And it has a zipper here with a netting that you can put stuff in. And then it's got all these cool little pouches where you can put your cords. And um, I brought a flash drive. I'd probably bring a flash drive again in case I want to save something. I didn't use it for this trip. Um, it had, I got my phone charger. The cube is in the other one, like the wall portion. And I got this adapter here that is like a, because the new uh, Macs, they have the small USB and the micro USB, whatever it's called, the USB connector. I'm torn about this one. It doesn't take up that much space, so I'd probably bring it in case I needed the transition for my laptop. I didn't use it last time at all, though. And then inside this zipper, I got this Canon G7X uh, Mark II, I think is what it's called. I would not bring this next time unless I was seriously vlogging because for just picture taking, the iPhone, I have the iPhone X, it kills with pictures and this just took up space. So I probably would not bring this next time unless I was like really, really, really hardcore vlogging the trip. This right here is just a microphone. I'd probably bring this because if I want to do like interviews, like interview a friend or somebody that I meet, interesting people, this would help with the sound quality. I would bring the microphone. I didn't use it on this trip though. So that's the stuff in there. This is the second pouch here, the second zipper pouch. And um, my laptop charger, obviously bring that every single time. I'm just gonna take out my credit cards so those aren't on the video. <laughs> so, everything else is totally in here. This is pretty cool here. It's got these pouches in here. This is for the um, camera battery charger. I wouldn't bring this, like I said, for my next trip, like, unless, like I said, I'm vlogging. And even if I'm vlogging, I'm gonna use this camera. You guys can let me know what the quality is on this video. Um, this is cool because it's got your SD card, it's got, don't know what TF is, and it's got your SIM card space. If you're going to a foreign country, you're going to get a SIM card if you're going there for an extended period of time. And you're going to want to keep your SIM card for back home, or back America, or back in Europe, or wherever that is. Here, you're going to want to slip it in there or tape it in there. This is kind of cool. I have two sets of earbuds, one that goes into my computer, and one that goes into my phone. I would bring both next time. I know it seems like a weird waste of space, but I would bring both because it doesn't take up that much room. And I use the one for my phone all the time. And then like I said, for the computer, actually I changed my mind. If I bring these over the ear headphones, I would not bring the ones that plug into my computer because these are Bluetooth and they plug into my computer fine. But if I don't bring these over the ear headphones, I would bring the ones that plug into my computer. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the new iPhones, don't have the regular earphone jack. That's why I have to bring two different headphones. Or I could bring a little adapter, but this is just kind of easier. This is just a wall plug-in for the iPhones. Definitely bring that again. And that plugs right into the adapter for the wall, so it's kind of cool. And then this right here, crucial. A bat uh, what's it called? A battery pack, a charging pack, what <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. I forgot, but this is like the thing where you charge it up and you can charge your phone out of it and stuff. I would bring this, I would bring this, I would bring this, I would bring this, I would bring this on my next trip, for sure, because there's gonna be times where you're gonna need this or a friend needs it too. So, and like I said, this is bag smart something or other, I'll link it up at the bottom. Super cool, it's pretty thin. Without that camera, it would've been a lot thinner. And uh, it keeps all your electronic stuff organized especially if you're someone that works online or even if you're just a normal human because you're gonna need half this stuff anyway. So this is like crucial. These two bag smart items, I would bring these every single trip I'm ever gonna take for the rest of my life. I'm gonna bring these types of things. And that is everything. Um, sunscreen, I wouldn't bring, I'd buy it when I was there because you're gonna buy it here anyway. Um, unless you're going to some place where you think it's gonna be really expensive. Mosquito repellent, I would not bring 
buy it while you're there if you feel like you want to use it. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I don't think I did. So, that concludes this super long video. I gotta work on these videos and the length of them. But like I said on my next trip, it's gonna be these two, or these Osprey backpacks. One goes in my back, one clips to the front, or I can just hold it. One's a carry-on, one's a personal item. I'll bring both for sure. Well, I mean, I am gonna bring both for sure. And um, that's all I'll bring. I wouldn't bring anything else, that's enough. And like I said with my clothes, I'd cut down on the clothes. I'd cut down on some other stuff. And um, for you, just take a trip with what you think you need. And you're gonna realize you don't need certain things. And uh, you'll just have to go from there. But that's what I would bring on my next trip. And um, yeah, I just keep looking around because I don't want to forget something. But I probably will, but it's okay. That's what I would, that's some of the stuff that I wouldn't bring and I would bring on my next trip. But all the stuff I showed you, I did bring on this trip. But my bags were pretty stuffed. Um, so there are certain things I would take out, like I talked about in the video. And there are certain things that I would definitely bring again. There's nothing that I got to where I was going and I thought, Damn it, I forgot that. So, past this stuff, I don't think you really need anything else to bring while you're traveling. Specifically to Southeast Asia or someplace that's hot. Um, that's what I'll bring. Like I said, two pairs of shoes and that's it. And that concludes this video because my phone's about to die. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked this video, I hope it added value to you. Like I said, all the products that I showed are all going to be linked down below. Even the ones I said I wouldn't bring, like the neck pillow and things like that. I'm still gonna link them because they're really good products. I'm not gonna link anything that I didn't like that I brought. And like I said, that concludes this video. If you liked the video, give it a like, drop a comment. If you don't agree with something, if you agree with something, tell me. If you don't, also tell me in the comments. It'll add value to everybody else. Maybe I forgot something, or maybe I'm wrong about something. So, like I said, drop a comment, drop a like, turn the notification bell on. I will be posting more videos moving forward. I hope you guys liked this video. Check out HS Styles. The, the link's under there. She's got some amazing, amazing clothes, and the mission behind it is even more amazing. And you're supporting amazing people. You're supporting an amazing company. If you check out her stuff below. And that concludes this video. I will see you guys in the next video.